Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be connecting with you today. It is the 22nd day of January, and it is a Tuesday, about noon here in Hawaii. And I'm staying quite busy on this day. Looking forward to connecting with you. Today's subject, Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. And then why is it so important? Why is it the highest quality before enlightenment? Very good question, isn't it? Da Fu Wu is a quality, a quality of one of the ten Da's. The ten Da's are the ten greatest qualities. That's what Da means in Mandarin Chinese. The wisdom I'll be sharing with you today is from my spiritual teacher, Master Shaw. And he's written in his book, a book I recommend you get, uh, and it's called um, soul over matter you know people think about mind over matter this one's called soul over matter and it's a fabulous book that he co-wrote with a very financially uh, financial guru if you will that has taught many in the subject of mind over matter and master Shah taught him about soul over matter they wrote a book together in which seven of the ten das are spoken about in there to assist people with their finances uh, but I digress the ten das uh, have come before that book was written and are still spoken about today as the pathway to enlightenment. Da Fu Wu, the greatest service, is the ninth of the ten qualities, the highest being enlightenment. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to be talking about today, is why is it so important? How do we apply it in our lives? What does it look like? I personally have had some some big learning curves around this so I have a lot to share with you so welcome uh, to Nirma Aloha and NC welcome also to Gerd Aloha Lana welcome Morgano welcome Janine Aloha Ben Garzan welcome Phyllis welcome Sandra welcome also to Kristen Rojas thank you for your service welcome Carol Aloha Amy Hugrick now uh, welcome also to um, any other souls who may have shown up I haven't seen your names yet Thank you for your presence. Thank you for sharing this live stream so that others can enjoy the wisdom as well. Today, Tuesday, is my busy day. I just got off uh, teaching three classes uh, of my students for the Open Spiritual Channels course. So if any of you, if that rings a bell, I want to open my third eye. I want to understand more of the Kundalinis and the Chakras. I want to understand the energy and matter circle. I want to heal. Uh, then you might be interested in the Open Spiritual Channels course. Um, you can learn more by going to my website listed above here. And right on the home page, right, and like after you scroll down an inch or two, is, there's a red column in the middle that says Open Your Spiritual Channels. You can click on that and learn more. <coughs> uh, the course just started and I keep it open for three weeks. Hope you uh, check into it. But anyway, um, during this day of talking about the greatest service, I'll share with you a lot of personal insights that I have learned from early on in life. Uh, literally um, thinking I understood service, <laughs> but not really. And uh, doing a lot of things that were very valuable in terms of learning of lessons and wisdom, but probably did not need to occur the way they did uh, had I understood, understood truly what was service. So I'll share with you some of those wisdoms today and how it could move you in the fastest path to enlightenment. Welcome also Gail, Aloha Dan, welcome Shana. Uh, welcome also Christine Mara. <clears throat> also, I will talk to you a little bit about this beautiful calligraphy card here. This is the Tao Source Calligraphy Da Fu Wu. And oneness calligraphy is a form or a source of the delivery of positive energies, Shen Qi Jing, uh, of the, um, that carry the heavenly energies, positive energies. So you'll be able to experience some of that today as well. Welcome Tokes, welcome Rosetta, welcome also Danielle. <clears throat> so while we are waiting for other people to join, let us go ahead and connect, placing our hands in either prayer position or soul light, soul service hand position, which is dropping the left hand in front of the uh, heart center. Open your heart, close your eyes, and let us connect. I will invite in all the beings of light so that we can prepare to receive. 
Dear the divine, the Tao, the source, our creator, by whatever name you go by. Dear the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the sun and the moon, the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite your presence and blessings today. Dear the soul of all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Krishna, beloved Ganesha, Muhammad, all of them, mentioned and unmentioned, serving the planet of the light side, we invite your presence today as well. We are beyond grateful for all that you do for humanity, all that you do for us. And we ask today that you offer guidance and insights on the subject matter of the greatest service. Da Fu Wu. We are extremely grateful. Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes, we love you, we honor you, respect you. And we ask for you to please turn on as we sing love, peace, and harmony. We invite all souls and all universes to chant with us to offer their unconditional service, a form of Da Fu Wu. So for those that are new, not familiar, this is a mantra. It is a song. It is a blessing. I will sing it. You can close your eyes to receive. <clears throat> it is also a, a uh, tool to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and set a positive energy field. So I encourage you to chant with me or close your eyes and receive the blessing. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai, wo xian her ling. Wo ai tuan man li ang li ing rong her mu she shang shang ai ping on a she shang ai ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> welcome Kristen Chamberlain welcome Norma Aloha Audrey, Aloha Sharon Winnington. Welcome also to uh, Danielle. Welcome Tox, Rosetta, uh, Gail. Any names I may have missed, welcome Shauna. Uh, thank you all for your presence. Thank you for sharing this live stream. So that song that you just heard was called the Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It is chanted around the globe uh, all the time. Uh, typically at 12 o'clock during the day, people all over six continents are chanting it. And it is translated actually into 42 languages, which makes it easier to translate or chant in six continents. So I encourage you to learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. <clears throat> so thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Today we're going to be focusing on Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. <clears throat> it is one, let me clean my throat here, give me a second, one of ten Da's. A Da is a quality. It is a quality of, uh, how would you put it, a quality of life. Kind of like love and forgiveness is a quality of life. Honesty, humbleness is a quality of life. Service is a quality of life. <clears throat> In Master Shah's wisdom, he has brought to us ten das, the greatest love, da I, the greatest forgiveness, da quan chu, the greatest compassion, da si bei. The greatest light, Da Guang Ming. <clears throat> the greatest humility, Da Chen Bei. The greatest harmony, Da He She. The greatest flourishing, uh, Da Chang Shan. The greatest gratitude, Da Gan An. And the greatest service, Da Fu Wu. The tenth which all of the previous nine lead to 
is the greatest enlightenment da yuan man and so in order to uh, move to enlightenment we must bring into our lives each of these qualities in the highest way possible what does that mean in the highest way possible that means to activate these qualities in our life be more loving be more forgiving be more kind have more humility less ego be more harmonious in our thoughts words and actions uh, bring flourishing to others expect to receive flourishing uh, have gratitude all of these are kind of common sense in many ways but many of us lack these qualities as we uh, move through life we get stuck in the rut of life today I chosen to focus on da fu wu the greatest service now master Shah since the age of four <clears throat> has been communicating with light beings Kuan Yin uh, he grew up in China so he grew up with Eastern based religious figures Kuan Yin came to him at the age of four his third eye was open and she started teaching him the Da Be Zhou which is a mantra uh, including 88 lines a four-year-old mind you 88 lines um, and they're not easy it takes about 10 minutes to recite them if you do it at a normal speaking speed like this and so this four-year-old's walking around the house reciting these 88 lines and his parents looking at him going well, is our son crazy who is this you know what's going on <clears throat> so he has been getting trained uh, since very early age by great beings of light and um, he received the ten das from these great beings of light to serve humanity da fu wu as the answer that was given to him when he asked heaven he said what is the fastest way to enlightenment because in the Eastern teachings the Buddhist teachings and I'm not Buddhist I'm just giving you different pieces of information you don't have to be any particular belief to, uh, to understand truth truth resonates from the heart and so in the Eastern teachings of Buddhism they would say that there are 84,000 ways to enlightenment meaning that people can can achieve it many different ways I'll give you an example of one of them the first enlightened teacher that I trained under who I did not know was enlightened uh, until later on <clears throat> uh, we received enlightenment in a 21 day period he was um, I don't know his age but I want to say about 30 35 years old uh, and he had climbed up uh, a sacred mountain in Korea he was a Korean master barefoot and um, got to a place on the mountain he decided he's not going to move until he figures out the, the meaning of life because he was he was uh, not in a happy place and so he did not eat he did not sleep he did not drink water how did he stay awake 21 days well the story goes as he he's even told the story is that he would literally tie his hair to the tree branches over the water because he was sitting over a stream on a rock ledge and tree branches over that and he would tie his hair to the branch so that when he was ready to fall asleep and pull his hair and wake him up uh, there was apparently a woman that lived on the mountain that saw him and she um, she would go and, and, and cover him and, and do things like that but he told her not to bother her and so um, after 21 days he reached enlightenment he described it as his whole body turned into uh, fire and things left and he was able to see clearly and talk to heaven da, 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 da. so there are 84,000 ways to reach enlightenment if you want to suffer 21 days try it Okay? Don't say, don't say, I told you to go do it. It's just an example. Okay. Uh, welcome, Abdermin. Welcome also to uh, Tone. Tone. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Master Elizabeth. Uh, and welcome, Santa Maria. Welcome, Kristen Chamberlain. Uh, and the other souls, Gina Dupre. Welcome, uh, Maita. Welcome also, Thweba. And Catherine O'Shea. Thank you for your presence. <coughs> and so, um, when Master Shah asked Kevin, what is the best way to enlightenment? And Heaven told him, what do you think it is, Master Shah? He said, I think it's service. Heaven said, you're absolutely right. So Da Fu Wu is the ninth of the ten Da's because it is the highest right next to enlightenment. Uh, you have listened to the teaching many times call the soul world inner souls outer souls our inner souls are the souls within us the souls of our heart our mind our, 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 our body etc 
outer souls, beings of light, the soul of Mother Earth, all of those willing to serve us unconditionally. How did an outer soul become a being of light? Think about it. How did Jesus become Jesus? How did Krishna become Krishna? How did Buddha become Buddha? Did they just sit around and complain about life like you and me? Probably not. They probably were very loving, were very forgiving. They had great compassion. They had great light for others. They were quite humble, took no credit for anything that they were doing. They were probably very harmonious in their thoughts, words, and actions. They were happy to both receive and give flourishing. And they offered great wisdom freely. They did not hold on to their wisdoms. They were very grateful, knowing that they would have nothing without the source. And they served unconditionally. These are why these are the ten da's, and these are why the great beings of light that precede us had become great beings of light. And in their light form, in the soul world form, they are literally all around us. They're around me right now. They're around you right now. They are always around us. Dimensions are nothing more than a frequency that we cannot experience with our five senses. Dimensions are all around us. Heaven lives in a different dimension. Angels live in a different dimension. Some with their spiritual third eye can see them. What does that mean? That means that we've uh, expanded one of our five senses into another sense. The third eye is another sense, a sense organ, if you will, that allows us to experience other frequencies. So we're always surrounded by these beings of light. And all we need to do is connect. And they can give us tools, wisdom, guidance, protection. They can save our lives. They can serve us in so many ways. So when we call upon a being of light to assist us, to be of greater service, to assist us, most of us only call upon them uh, when we have trouble. Let us call upon them to offer gratitude. Let us call upon them to offer love. Let us call upon them to ask for forgiveness in case we have made mistakes with them. These beings of light got to be a being of light by applying these previous uh, eight Dawes and reaching the greatest service now in the soul light form they are unconditional universal servants I tell you you call Jesus instantly Jesus is there you might think it's the dark night of the soul that you're never gonna make it through it but sure enough the next day you made it through it and you're still alive to talk about it today why because when you called upon God or Jesus or Buddha or Krishna or whoever you called upon they came and they offered their unconditional service so we are not at their level. So how then do we bring unconditional service into our life? Welcome Janelle, welcome Elder Pamela, uh, welcome uh, James. Uh, anybody else whose name I missed, Angie May, welcome. How do we bring greater service into our life? Well, the first thing to understand is it does not have to be a physical action. So I'll share with you a little insights that you may not have known about me. I attended a four-year theosophical school uh, about starting at the age of 21 where you learn about all the different belief systems of the world you find the commonalities with them the love that permeates all of them and I learned other things during this four-year theosophical school and uh, my heart was very open right I'm I'm like I found uh, you know something that is gonna grow my spiritual journey it just feels so good when you find the right wisdom of the teachings of the right teacher that that you know is going to grow your soul your soul is just you know ecstatic if you've not experienced it then I hope you do because when you find the right teachings your soul is just jumping up and down for joy and on a on a physical ego based level it's like you know you just want to hug everybody you just want to tell everybody about it okay and so this is more in relationship to your soul finding uh, high level or right teachings and so I had found some for where I was at at my point in life at the age of 2021. 20, and so my heart was open to serve, and that was part of these teachings. And unfortunately, the teachings were not uh, profound enough or high level enough for me to understand what exactly that meant. So I thought it meant going and helping people. Now, don't get me wrong. Do go help people. Help them as much as you can. Help people to be happier and healthier as much as you can. But at my young, stupid age, um, I decided that I was going to uh, become a legal guardian for a 13-year-old. Now, uh, it was around age 22, 23 at that time. I had become a what's called a Valley Big Brother, which is basically just being a, 
an older brother to a younger boy, teaching them about the, the ropes of life and taking them out for lunch, do bowling, you know, events, whatever it might be. It was a lot of fun. And so that was my way of service. And uh, one day I was out playing basketball with my little brother. And this other boy came up. We started playing hoop with him. And uh, I heard his story, which was that his mother died of a drug overdose. And uh, he was forced to live with his grandmother. Uh, which she didn't want him. She had just reached retirement age. She was ready to go off to touring around the world in cruise ships, and she was pissed off. She and she had no problem telling him about that. That she did not. Uh, she was not happy that the daughter killed herself, and she was not happy that she was roped with him. And so uh, he did not have a father figure, and he did not have an older brother figure. Uh, so I went to Big Brothers, and I said, you know, can we find him a big brother? And they said, well, it's about a two-year process. And so I decided on my own to be a big brother to him. Um, that extended over a period of two years until such time as basically uh, his father also told him clearly, I don't want you, because his father had divorced earlier. The grandma was more than happy to give him up, and I said, I'll be your legal guardian. Well, that was the beginning of service in a very um, eventful way, should I say. I learned huge lessons that I was not prepared for that level of service. But my heart was very open. I tell you this story because there are many ways we can serve, but we want to do it within the realms and the boundaries of what are um, realistic for us and of value for us. So when we open our heart to service, we can accomplish many, many things. Why? When we open our heart to service, heaven sees. Is this service unconditional? They can tell if we have an ulterior motive. They know, heaven, heaven sees everything. They know our thoughts, words, and actions. Heaven can fill your heart. When you get out of your car and you go help that person that spilled their, their, their bag of, of groceries on the ground, whatever it might be that you do, heaven fills your heart. And they record it in your Akashic records, in your record of your life services. So in the record of our services, they record everything. Service, unconditional service, is the highest of all of the services. It's the highest of virtue creation tools, virtue creation abilities. Um, Master Shah was given the universal law of universal service. I don't know what year actually he received it, but he was on stage teaching somewhere between three and 500 students. Uh, heaven came and said, Master Shah, we want to deliver a law to you. He said, I'm honored. He looked at the students and he said, heaven is here. I need to bow down to the ground because in my country, in China, we learn to honor our elders. So heaven meaning creator, God. And so he bowed to the ground in front of these 300 people. He didn't care. He had great humility. And he said, I'm grateful to receive this law. Heaven said, <clears throat> and I'm, I don't have it exactly in front of me. I will give it very, very close. Do a little good service. Receive a little benefit. Do a little more good service receive even more benefits, even more good return. Do unconditional service, receive unlimited benefit and return. Heaven said there's also another part of the law. Do unpleasant things, receive a little lesson. Do a little bit bigger unpleasant things, receive a bigger lesson. Do huge unpleasant service to others, because service is good service and bad service, receive huge lessons. And, and Master Shah asked them in his silence in this, in this, when his head is on the ground, Dear Heaven, can you please give me examples of what happens when people offer unpleasant service? And they said people can have health issues, they can have financial issues, they can have relationship issues, they can have issues in every area of their life if they offer unpleasant service. So when we offer good service, what are we doing? We're pulling out life's huge eraser and we're cleaning off the debris of the unpleasant service that we may have on our records as well. So it's the fastest way to enlightenment. So this is a very important thing to understand. So now then, how do we at our level, working stiffs, typically most of us, we're working eight hours a day, we're taking care of the husbands, the wives, the kids, we're taking care of the dogs, we're taking care of all of our other responsibilities, we're going to school, whatever it is we're doing, our lives are chock full of responsibilities. How then do we find time to serve others? Well, this is the beauty of unconditional service. Master Shah put it in a very simple one-sentence secret. 
unconditional universal service is making others happier and healthier okay making others happier and healthier if you judge in your mind is that going to help somebody be happier and healthier will it help you be happier and healthier of course it won't help you but it certainly won't help others because our energy impacts others if you're in a uh, place at work and you see an opportunity to help a coworker that's having trouble with a copy machine or maybe they're having trouble starting their car or something like that do we go out of our way are we in a rush to get home okay what if that person was put there so that you could start their car so that you could avoid a car accident service and service opportunities are almost always put in front of us what about smiling does that cost you anything does it I don't smile near enough I literally uh, since I first started doing camera work like six seven years ago I look at myself and I'm like man I just don't smile enough that's just like I look like I'm frowning you know and so I've I've had to be conscientious that even if I have a smile inside my face does not necessarily show the smile so I smile more I try um, still trying but the smile is very very important you can literally offer huge unconditional service I'm talking huge unconditional service just by making a choice to smile a lot more each and every day how is that possible because other people see your smile and other people are lost in their world they're thinking about the boyfriend and why did he say what he say they're thinking about oh my god am I pregnant they're thinking about the uh, the wife when they come home they're thinking about the dog they're thinking about did I leave the fire on they're thinking about the boss they're thinking about any number of things that has not got them in a happy place you walk by you give them a smile maybe they're thinking I'm not attractive and you give them a smile see wow that person smiled at me maybe I am attractive and you change their world instantly I've given the example before I'll give it again you could give a smile to somebody that is considering suicide and just before you walked by they could have been said God I'm gonna take my life I need something now I need you to give me any kind of a message now and you walk by and you give them a big smile you just your heart is open you give them a big happy smile and they look up to God and they say thank you That's exactly what I needed I know you love me and they survive another day maybe another week maybe forever and they look back on you as the messenger of God service can happen in so many 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 unique ways what I want to hear is from you guys I want you to type in there what are some of the creative ways you can offer service the non obvious ones the obvious ones are helping at the soup kitchen the obvious ones are helping at your church the obvious ones are obvious I want you to give creative ways <clears throat> in which we can be of more service you can help me I can help you I've given you multiple uh, examples I want to hear from you type it in this is a way that I think I can be of service this is a way that uh, Think about how other people have served you what have they done that made such a difference for you did they lift something when your back was hurt that's a service it doesn't have to be physical I'm gonna keep talking while you write in <clears throat> it can be done at the level of soul this is the great wisdom that Master Shah brings to us service can be done at the level of soul because the one sentence secret that Master Shah brings heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow why is that a truth because the soul is the carrier of all of our messages of all lifetime then what is the messages our good service and our unpleasant services that's the messages our good thoughts and our unpleasant thoughts our good words unpleasant words good actions unpleasant actions all of these are recorded at the level of soul they create beautiful benefits in our life or unpleasant experiences in our life so when we operate on the level of soul and serve others at the level of soul we are actually serving the most so much more than even smiling and smiling huge don't get me wrong do it every day do it a lot more every day but singing to serve others 
sending love from your heart to serve others sitting down visualizing the love going to all humanity uh, chanting a mantra whatever your mantra is you might have a specific belief system that that chants for um, releasing blockages or whatever it might be instead of chanting for yourself chant for others many people that are watching today have major health issues major health issues you might have loved ones that have major health issues the key at the level of soul dear all the souls that have this exact same health issue as me or that have the exact same health issue as my loved one I love you call their souls dear all the souls that have the same health condition I love you please come I wish to offer you my unconditional service I want to give you my greatest love I want to chant this mantra for you now you can chant whatever you'd like my suggestion chant the song of love peace and harmony a beautiful song that carries very high uh, messages of love and peace and harmony high positive energy high frequency when you chant this song to serve others with the same health condition you have and you have no attachment to the outcome and you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it from your heart to serve others then heaven records it because it it's in the law of universal service offer unconditional service to others receive unlimited benefits it's a law it's a secret as well that should not be a secret very sad it should not be a secret nevertheless not enough people practice it because we're too stuck in our own stuff so take a look at your world where are you stuck at is it money is it not enough love in your life is it a problem in a specific relationship in your life with a particular sibling or a child or a lover um, chant offer service to others that have that same issue you don't have to know them all the souls in humanity that have the same kind of conditions I'm dealing with I know how much your suffering is I'm going to leave my suffering behind I'm just going to serve you dear the song of love peace and harmony as I chant this beautiful mantra can you radiate out to all those with this particular condition I'm so grateful now what happens is you literally forget about your stuff you go into it 5 10 15 minutes forget about your stuff serve unconditionally to others you are rewarded in multiple ways heaven sees your unconditional service they reward you the souls that are being positively impacted they are bowing down to you at the level of soul they are beyond stunned that somebody who doesn't even know them is chanting for them their souls are stunned and grateful and as an aspect of their gratitude they offer virtue to you at the level of soul so now you're receiving virtue from two levels to assist you on your soul journey it is one of the highest sacred soul secrets why do you think uh, Jesus and Buddha and Krishna and Muhammad and, and Ganesha and Vishnu and, and Mother Mary and, and Kuan Yin and all of the beings of light mentioned or unmentioned why do you think they come every time why do you think they serve unconditionally they understand this rule it's a very simple universal law why do we not do it well, we're too busy whining and crying about our own stuff we're too busy in our own world of of woe is me and so if you want to get out of the world of woe is me if you want to get out of your suffering apply the ninth of the ten da qualities apply the quality of greatest service you will be very surprised that if you go out of your way to serve others half hour one hour just singing if you're in a wheelchair that's a good woe is me condition right I'm in a wheelchair I can't do anything wrong I've just given you a solution when you do this you are not in your monkey mind bringing yourself into a depressed condition you are not vacillating on something that is unpleasant to think about because when you do vacillate on something that's unpleasant to think about what do you think you're creating in your future more of what you don't want to think about right common sense so don't vacillate on what you don't want to think about serve unconditionally others if you find yourself in a negative thought space catch yourself you know what I don't like this negative thought space I don't like this feeling this feeling has to do with uh, limited finances I am going to chant to serve others with limited finances la, and you serve others okay and then the next day you get an unsolicited uh, refund check in the mail that you forgot about 
okay money can come from many different places heaven will reward you for your unconditional service so when you catch yourself in a funk stop chant to serve others get out of your own way <laughs> we're so often in our own way we don't allow ourselves to get out of our own way okay so let's do that now let us offer some unconditional service each of you have your very own personal uh, suffering choose the one that is most relevant in your world right now okay is it a relationship is it money is it a health condition is it a job condition a jobless condition is it a lack of love condition choose whatever is most relevant in your world that tends to drag your mind down okay and what I want you to do is I want you to chant for all the others in the world that have that same condition I'll walk you through it it goes like this repeat after me dear all souls of humanity my name is Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher Paul Fletcher I love you honor you and appreciate you I wish to chant the song of love peace and harmony to serve you unconditionally from my heart I am so tired of dealing with my own problems I'm just gonna leave them behind and I'm gonna serve you all of you that have all the souls in humanity that have the same set of conditions I have where you're unable to blah, 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 whatever it is okay just spit it out there if you have the same kind of conditions can't find love have trouble in relationship blah, 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 whatever it is I'm gonna serve you unconditionally from my heart okay now what I want you to do is close your eyes we're going to sing together we're going to offer our love see at least 10,000 maybe a hundred thousand souls so happy to receive your love send your love from your heart let us connect to the song of love peace and harmony we're going to ask it to serve repeat after me dear the soul of the song of love peace and harmony I'm so grateful for your unconditional service as I sing you could you please radiate your love peace and harmony to all of the souls in humanity that have this same condition repeat the condition da, 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 da. I am deeply grateful for your service now we're not doing the healing we're just sending love and letting the song do the healing so let us offer this service let's do it together with love think of all those that have that condition you already know how much they're suffering you're going to help them pass and move through their suffering and have joy in their lives let us do this I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. For those that just came in, we are singing to serve all of those that have uh, the same condition as you have. Choose your worst thing happening in your life. Say, I'm not going to focus on my condition. I'm going to serve all the others in humanity that have the same major problem I have. And join us to sing. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xian har li. Wo ai zan nan lei. Rang li rang 
而不是双，双爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony, lo la lo la li. Is a smile on your face, lo la lo la la li, lo la lo la li lo la, lo la li lo la. Lu la ha li lu la, wo ai wo xian ha li, wo ai zi lan man li, rong li rong er mu xie xiong, xiong ai ping an er xie. 相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. And now let us chant Da Fu Wu, greatest service, sending our greatest love. The song of love, peace, and harmony continues to serve all the beings of light who have come. They are blessing right along with us. Countless souls are being blessed right now. Let us continue with a smile. Da Fu Wu. Da fu, da fu, da fu. Greatest service, greatest service, greatest service. Greatest service, greatest service, greatest service, greatest service, greatest service. Da fu. Da fu, da fu, da fu. Greatest service, greatest service, great. Greatest service, greatest service. Now, from your heart, connect. Ask forgiveness, dear all souls. Repeat. If I have brought suffering to you, the same way. As the suffering I have received, like the suffering now I am chanting for others for. If I have done anything that has brought this suffering to me, if I have caused this same suffering upon you, I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. I would not wish this kind of suffering upon anybody. But I recognize the nature of the laws. And I recognize it's possible I may have brought 
the suffering I am experiencing upon others. And if I have, I humbly and sincerely apologize and ask for your unconditional forgiveness. Dear, repeat, dear all the souls that have brought this suffering to me, I forgive you. I know you probably did not purposely bring this suffering to me. Maybe it is a karmic return. Maybe I had done something to you I cannot remember, and therefore you are reminding me. Regardless, I do not wish to blame anyone for my suffering. I release all souls fully and completely of any spiritual debt they may have to me. Let us all move forward in love, peace, and harmony. So one more round of love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. All the souls are singing together. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la. Lu la ha li lu la. Wo ai wo xian er ling. Wo ai tlan ran li. Ang ling rong. Her mother, Shong, Shong, I ping on her say, Shong, I ping on her say, I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> how, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see that there are some souls who came in a little bit late. I'm so grateful for your presence. Please watch this as it becomes a recording at the end of this live stream in a few minutes. There is great wisdom on how to be of greater service without ever moving from your chair. We can serve in so many ways, even as simple as smiling. The more you do it, the faster your road to enlightenment. Offer unconditional service and remember the greatest wisdom. Wherever you are suffering, chant to serve others that have that same kind of suffering. By applying this very important wisdom, you could release your suffering much faster. Simply offer the service unconditionally, no expectations of return, just from your heart. Serve others that have the same suffering you have. You already know how much it stinks for you, so you can simply easily imagine how much suffering it may be for others. So why not assist them? Move out of your mind, move out of your stuff, serve others unconditionally. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I'm very grateful to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, for bringing this wisdom to humanity, bringing the ten das to humanity. I encourage you to apply this to the rest of your life. Uh, please like and share if you've enjoyed this. If you're new and you enjoy this, like and subscribe. You'll know when I go live. Also pay attention on top of my Facebook page. It tells you the times I start. It's an hour off, I think, because I haven't changed the like, image. But it starts uh, one hour ago, 12 o'clock. And then Thursday, I'll be doing a live stream at 9 a.m. So I encourage you to join me there. For those that are interested in opening their spiritual channels, please go to my uh, uh, website, which is listed at the top by my name. Uh, you can see underneath my, my little caption of today, it has my website. Scroll down to the red banner and click on Open Your Spiritual Channels and learn more. You can contact me through Facebook Messenger uh, or through my email through my website. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All souls respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.